We don't seek to preserve ourselves or to promote ourselves, but to use the coin that we receive to lift up those who are oppressed. This is high. Yeah, I'm broken in a mug, count dollars I spend, working double shift, trying to buy the approval of men, could have paid tuition or rent, pay for a teacher from him, do anything just to be considered one of them tens, wishing you was them. No, girl, you was wishing you was thin So you spent your news in the gym Pruning all your limbs Cause your daddy never said you was a gym But then again Who asked for their opinion? I guess we wish it was We let them throw their pennies in And on these looks, man, we place too much emphasis We don't know who we is or who we is It's ridiculous It's certain we all searching Deep in our purses Looking for purpose, making purchases Cause our inner purpose and perspective Is so worthless we been We want applause cause we flawed But we need the Lord this is hot. This is DJ KB with the Antonio Johnson Show. I'm here at the Trust Him concert at North Dallas Community Bible Fellowship. Yes, I remembered it. Um, I'm here with Susie Rock. How you doing? I'm good. I'm okay, good. I'm doing good. Hey, man, you did an awesome set on stage tonight. Um, the crowd was going crazy, the kids, you know, they're having a good time. It's New Year, so, you know, yeah. we out here having a great time. Absolutely. Okay, my first question for you is, who's Susie Rock? Um, well, I guess, first and foremost, um, Susie Rock is a believer. First and foremost, I think, um, before I describe any other parts of myself or characteristics of who I am, I think, man, my true identity is rooted in my faith and the gospel of Jesus Christ. And from there, I filter the rest of my life, um, who I am through that. And so, first and foremost, man, I'm a believer. I love the Lord. I love God. Um, I strive to make disciples and uh, just build a closer uh, relationship with God. And so first and foremost, I'm a believer. Uh, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister. I live in Atlanta, um, an artist, a writer, um, just regular girl from Oklahoma who okay. loves the Lord, yeah. So you give more of an emphasis on relationship with God. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just when I think about relationship, um, just Christianity in itself is based on God sending his son to reconcile or to make right the relationship that uh, sin and the sin of Adam and Eve caused. And so uh, for me, the most important thing is, man, just maintaining a healthy relationship with the Lord, an intimate relationship with the Lord. Because um, if you can't have that vertical, then your horizontal relationships will reflect it. You know what I mean? Okay. So why Christian hip hop? Um, really, I, I just... Honestly, the art form of music, I grew up writing probably like the age of 11. Um, I really didn't listen to, a lot, listen to a lot of hip hop growing up. I listened to a lot of uh, old school, 70s type of music, soulful music. Um, and randomly, um, I started writing raps and freestyling really young. And so at the time, I wasn't a believer. Um, and I came, was introduced to the faith at about 14. And from there, it naturally sprung out of my love for God, this you know, when you write about what you go through, you write about what you see in life, you know, and who you are, then naturally, when you become a believer, then who you are changes, your life changes, so then you write from that perspective. And for me, um, just learning who God was and falling in love with God, naturally, I wanted to make music from that place. And so, at this point, um, I wouldn't say it's Christian hip hop. I think the fact that I am a believer is just speaks about my beliefs and you know what life looks like through that lens so okay. so do you agree with the label of christian rapper or just um I, I don't mind it either way you know what i mean i'm definitely um unash you know unashamed you know what i'm saying so from that standpoint i don't really mind if somebody calls me christian rapper i think at the end of the day i'm a, I'm a rapper 
who happens to be Christian, you know what I mean? I think we kind of throw Christian rapper on it because um, the content is, is Christian based versus you don't say Christian bus driver. You know what I mean? Christian police officer, Christian uh, hairdresser. Mm-hmm. And I think um, what makes me a Christian rapper, um, I think in this case is the, the content. So the music is geared towards the gospel. So I mean, I'm not bothered with Christian rapper, rapper, whatever. Okay. So, what type of impact do you think you're making with your message and your ministry that you're doing? Uh, man. Because I know you have vanity stuff. Yeah. Um, it's been, honestly, the Lord, it's, it's the hand of God, really, because, man, and my team, um, there's, there's no way I could do it by myself. Um, and just the way that Vanity Sucks came about and just the girls that I'm able to talk to, uh, I think that I've seen a lot of impact this year, especially from uh, Vanity Sucks and Dirty Little Secrets, and that's just from responses of girls coming back saying, man, God is really doing something in my life and uh, helped me get connected with other believers. I want to grow in the faith. I need accountability. I want mentors. And, um, it's hard to judge uh, impact by concerts or numbers, you know what I mean? Um, for me, I think just having a few girls around me that I can constantly pour into and disciple, um, then I can really gauge, man, the healthiness of their spiritual walk is really the impact that I'm making, you know, and being able to measure what the Lord is doing. Has anyone ever contacted you and said, hey, uh, your message and what you've been through have me through the issues that I'm going that I've gone through? Yeah, absolutely. Especially with dirty little secrets. I mean, I probably got a couple hundred emails of just people talking about dealing with lust, dealing with homosexuality, dealing with just secrets, porn, like all kind of stuff. Um, a lot of girls. And so from that point I had to stop and kinda of get a team and figure out how we can deal with um, these issues and really walk through, you know, walk walk through them with the girls instead of just sending them a couple tapes or, you know, music, just like man, trying to find people in their area that can literally like walk them through um, their struggles and well, I have to thank you and commend you for the honesty and the uh, transparency that you showed through mm-hmm. your ministry of uh, letting people, how you built your relationship with God, even showing them uh, times that you have fallen and you still yeah. have faith in him to pick you up mm-hmm. in your situation. So um, what you're doing with Vanity Sucks and Dirty Little Secrets, that that's something powerful because a lot of people are scared to, to really open up about themselves. Uh, they don't want to be judged by other people and they don't want, you know, things that they do in the dark to come to light, but it's amazing how Christian hip hop artists, Christian artists, mm-hmm. period, um, they tell a testimony of, of coming to God and then coming to God and being part of his body, but also still struggling with uh, their own flesh, mm-hmm. their own flesh, their own mm-hmm. desires. And still trying to learn at the same time to to kill that flesh and you know mm-hmm. still follow God's call. Mm-hmm. So I have to commend you on that because Thank it you, takes man. a lot of it's, bravery. It's the Lord. It's the Lord, man. So I can't it. take no credit for that. Okay. Well, I thank you for sitting down with us for this interview. Thank um, you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Amen. This is uh, DJ KB with the Antonio Johnson Show. Would you like to let them know how to reach you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Vanity Sucks, V-A-N-I-T-Y-S-U-X-X. And you can follow me uh, on all the social networks and whatever else. Suzy okay. Rock. Uh, yeah. Shout out to anybody? No, no, no shout outs. Uh, shout out to Show. Okay. Show got an album coming out, uh, The Talented 10, so definitely pick that up. January the 15th? Um, January 15th, that'll be out, and then, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. This is DJ KB with the Antonio Johnson Show and DFW's Woman's Kingdom Business. Peace out.